this is Bozo the Clown again. I'm going on a trip way down to the bottom of the ocean. Look on page one in your picture book. That's a picture of me getting into my diving suit. Well, here I go over the side. Why don't you come along with me? Here's how. Every time you hear the bubbles from my diving suit underwater, you just turn the page in your picture book, like this. There, turn to page two, because I'm on my way down to the bottom of the ocean. Look at all the fish. It's a group of Spanish mackerel. They like to travel together. And look at that tiny fish staring me in the face. Um, what kind are you, little fish? I'm a blowfish. I can blow myself up until I'm twice as big, like this. And then just blow myself away, like this. Well, what do you know? Guess I'll go down a little deeper and see what else I can find. Remember, the air bubbles mean to turn the page. Well, what are we here? You're a strange-looking fish. What are you? Well, I'll tell you. I am a swordfish. See my long snout with the sharp teeth on both sides? That is my sword. But don't worry, I won't hurt you, Bozo, if you like all sitting and make my sword play something for you. Just like a musical sword. Listen. I am a silly looking swordfish. I like to swim and swim things, but I really mean no harm. That was very pretty. Thank you, Mr. Sawfish. I'm getting down pretty deep now. I wonder what that fish with a long tail is. I'm a stingray. A whiptail stingray. A whiptail stingray? Yes, I have a long tail that I can whip from side to side. Watch. And does it hurt when I whip anyone with my tail? <laughs> See those seahorses over there? Watch me whip them. <laughs> I see what you mean. I think we'd better change the record and get away from here. Well, this fish doesn't look like she could hurt anyone. What's the matter with you, little fish? I have a sore throat. My mouth is sore, too, because it's not very strong. But my nurse takes care of me. That's my nurse behind me. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, Mrs. Uh... Oh, just call me Mrs. Weakfish. That's what everybody else calls me. Okay, Mrs. Weakfish. I hope you feel better. Oh, my goodness. What's that huge thing coming toward me? Well, in that case, I think I'll go down deeper. Goodbye, Mr. Whale. Oh, I've hit the bottom of the ocean. I've often wondered what lived down here. There's a starfish, that one with the points. And next to it is a lobster. And there's a snail. Oh, and look, over there is an old crab. Ah, yes, I'm a crab, but I'm a comical little crab. They call me a fiddling crab because I fiddle away to attract a wife. Listen, and I'll fiddle and sing for you. Oh, a fiddle and a play and a sing all day, down on the ocean floor. But I won't keep you long with my fiddle and my song, for I don't know any more. Oh, 
That was very pretty, Mr. Fiddling Crab. Oh, thank you. Now why don't you go see my cousin, Hermit Crab? He's right over there. This must be Hermit Crab. Yes, I'm Hermit Crab. They call me that because I live inside this shell, just like an old hermit in a cave. You must be lonesome and sad, living alone in your shell like that, Mr. Crab. I'm not alone. I've got a marine worm in here with me to keep me company. And this isn't my shell. I found it here and borrowed it. As for being sad, I'm not sad at all. In fact, I laugh all the time. <laughs> I feel one coming on now. <laughs> when I laugh, I just can't stop myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> while he's laughing, let's turn the record over. <laughs> I'm getting tired walking around on the ocean floor. I think I'll sit down on this flat rock for a while. Say, fella, I'm no flat rock. I'm a giant clam, see? That's my very hard shell you're sitting on, feller. Why don't you come inside for a while and see me? Well, thank you, Mr. Clam. It's awfully dark in here. Hey, open the door! Open the door! I'll pry you open! That's better. I'm sure glad to get out of there. Well, look here. I know what you are. You're an octopus. That's right, I am an octopus. I lie on the ocean sands. Although I only have two eyes, I have eight arms and ten. My arms are called tentacles, and I can use them all at once. Watch me. I'll be a one-man orchestra. With this tentacle, I'll play the drums. With these two, I'll play piano. With these two, I'll play the big bass fiddle. With this one, I'll play the trumpet. And with the last two arms, I'll play the clarinet. Oh, that was a very good concert, Mr. Octopus. Now, what do you suppose all those funny-looking things are? Oh, do you think you're calling funny-looking? I think he's funny-looking, not us. Why are you shaking? Are you cold? No, we're not cold. We're shaking because we're jellyfish. And we shake just like... Well, look, there's a school of porpoise. They're learning how not to get caught by fishermen. Listen, the teacher is speaking. Now, children, whenever you see a string on the end of a worm, don't eat it. <laughs> you see? Because there will be a hook inside, and you will end up by being some fisherman's dinner. Well, no wonder I can never catch anything when I go fishing. Well, it's an eel. I know an eel when I see one. They're so long. Oh, yes, I'm an eel. Put one hand on my head. Okay. Oh, now put your other hand on my tail. Okay. Hey, ow! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I guess you didn't know I'm an electric eel. I can give people a good shock. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a joke on me. While well, I recover from my shock, Please change the record. Well, well, look at that. A sunken ship. There might be treasure aboard. If we could only get in. I'll, I'll, I'll help you in. How can you get me inside? I'm a swordfish. I'll use my sword to cut a hole in the side of this old ship. But, but, but it's so dark in there. I wouldn't be able to see. Oh, wait. I'll get my friend the head and tail light fish. He carries his own light around with him. That's fine. Now I can see inside. Look, sure enough, there's a box of treasure. Mm, my 
goodness, it certainly is heavy. Uh, well, I got it outside the ship, but I'm afraid I'll never get it up to the top of the ocean. Can I help you? Uh, who are you? I'm a sailfish. I could sail you and your treasure way up to the top and right up into the air by raising my sail. <laughs> and then I could drop you right in your boat. Hop on my back. Well, my air tank is almost empty anyway. I might as well take my treasure and go up. Why don't you take your air helmet off and be comfortable? We'll be up in the air in less than a minute. Okay, I'll take it off, but go up fast or I'll drown. All right, sailfish. Let's go. Oh, I can't breathe. I, I wish this sailfish would go faster. I guess we're down deeper than he thought. The final bits of air soup I'll just fill completely up with water. And that will be the end of poor old Bozo the Clown. I know. You can help me, little reader. You can get me to the top just by turning the page in your picture book. Please hurry and drown it. Turn the page before it's too late. Turn the page. Turn the page. Oh. Oh. oh, thank you. Now I can get some air. Thank you so much. There's my boat, and, and I've still got the treasure. But I guess this is the end of our trip. Thank you so much for coming with me way down to the bottom of the deep sea. If you enjoyed the ocean floor, just play these records once more. <laughs> well, that is if your mother says it's all right. <laughs>